guys, welcome. Oh my god, it's so hard. This is my new setup. I hope you all like it. Um, I think I'm going to basically do the videos completely different now and I'm going to put them all on and just talk through like this because I think like sitting down and going through them can be a bit boring um, and it's a bit easier to talk through the items as I'm stood like actually wearing them. So basically just going to pretend I'm doing a fashion show for my family after I've come home from a shopping trip. Um, I'd love to hear down below what you think of this new like me standing style. Uh, I'm going to try my hardest not to move my hands about because it's very tempting to do so as I do feel like I'm currently doing a PowerPoint presentation. Um, anyway, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is well. So I'm really excited to do this video today actually because I've got some gorgeous bits. I didn't plan on doing the video, it's just happened because I got some new pieces that I love. Um, and basically I think I've got about like seven things to show you, maybe ten, between seven and ten. Um, and I'm going to just show you how like I would actually style things and kind of mix and match the pieces and show why these things are basically worth your money. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. As usual, all of the links, oh my god, the hand thing, it's so difficult. I'm going to go like, no, this, maybe this, this. As usual, all the links to everything I show you will be down below in the description box. Um, and I would love it if you check me out on Instagram. I'll pop my name on the screen here. Um, and I'd love it if you I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel if you do enjoy this sort of video. Um, so I think we should get straight into it. I'm basically going to start with Topshop and then move on to ASOS. I just had a thought that because I'm trying on so many different things, it's going to be really difficult if you like want to buy something specific. So what I'm going to do is on screen I'll label the outfits like outfit one, outfit two, outfit three, and then in the description box down below they'll be labelled the same. And then so you can be like, I want the top from outfit three. Go down below. You can get the top from outfit three. So hopefully that will make it a easier shopping experience for you. My office is going to be an absolute state after I'm done with this video because I'm like putting things on, chucking them away, putting them back on again. But anyway, um, so first things that I picked up from Topshop are some new basics. So I picked up this vest. I kind of just got it in a hurry because I needed a top to go under a blazer. Um, so I just kind of grabbed this one without even trying it on. Um, I think it was about like six, between six and ten pounds. Uh, but it just fits really nicely. I love the shape of it um, and it's just very, very like snug and I find that it's very flattering on the neckline and stuff. So it will look really nice if I'm just wearing like joggers or anything. I think I'm going to get basically every colour that they've got. Um, I'm actually wearing it in a UK 6 because, well, the reason is because they didn't have any other sizes. So I was like, well, this will do because it's stretchy. But I'm glad that I've got the 6 in the end because I do feel like... Um, like it, it fits better, you know. I'm normally like an eight. I think I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say I'm about a size eight in Topshop at the moment. So my weight fluctuates so much. I'm in a bit of a tangle. Yeah, my weight always fluctuates so much, and I think I always go between like eight and ten. But at the moment, I would say I'm like a solid eight. Um, so yeah, size down in this vest top is what I'm trying to say. Um, and then next up, the thing I picked up is this belt. So I really, really like the double buckle. I love it because it's got a gold buckle and I love wearing gold necklaces at the moment. So I feel like it really picks out the um, necklaces. And it's also like um, croc, you see? And I just, I don't know, I don't really like wearing jeans without a belt particularly. So yeah, loving this one. I think... This was around like the 15, 20 pounds mark. It's not real leather, it's plastic. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's like that croc material. Um, I'm now gonna lower the camera down to show you my new jeans. If you're wondering why I have just this plain corner, there's normally my green chair there, but I moved it for the video. Um, yeah, so I have seen a few people talking about these mum jeans. They're not the normal ones that Topshop do. They're called premium mum jeans. And I think that they are like five pounds more expensive, but they are five pounds more worth it, you know? They are like stretchy. They fit around the, the waist. Basically, I find with other Topshop jeans, they can 
fit like on the legs and then around the waist they're just really baggy and then if I go down a size I can't get them over my legs uh, but these ones are not like that they fit really nicely um, and they're basically like the same shape but better and they've also got stretch in them so they're really really comfy I mean not really really comfy but as mum jeans go they are really comfy uh, so yeah I really like these and as I said they are five pound more worth it so I would recommend if you're looking for a pair of mum jeans go for these ones I don't think they've got very many colours in them yet I'm sure they will bring out more but uh, I think this is like the only blue that they've got and then I think they've got like a black or something um, so yeah these are my new Topshop basics I feel like I am ready to take on 2020 with some new like perfectly fitting jeans and I'm also going to invest in the other colours of these next up I picked up this blazer now i am a sucker for a blazer like everything i wear i always am like that would be good with a blazer so i think like a plain outfit like this as well just dressed up with a blazer looks really good this is a houndstooth one and it's actually wool so it's a really nice kind of weight for winter but as we go into spring i'll replace my coat with this so i won't like i mean not replace you know i'm not going to get rid of my coats but i mean instead of wearing a coat i'll wear this um and i think it's it's basically i picked this up in a 14 because i wanted it to fit like a dad kind of blazer i will pop it on for for you um so what's great about that is i can fit big jumpers underneath if it's a cold day or if not then i think it does look nice like this i always like to roll the sleeves up on an oversized blazer and yeah this is how it fits isn't it so nice so I think this is a little bit more pricey and I think it's about £70 but I do think it's a very classic style blazer I will get out all the time and can be worn with literally any colour because it's black and white you can pair it with basically anything. But yeah I think I'll get a lot of wear out of this. So now I'm going to put a different outfit on with the blazer because I want to like I said show you more than one way to style it obviously you know you can wear a blazer in so many ways but just to kind of prove that it looks really nice other ways too I'm going to pop another outfit on now I've just chucked this big cream knit on which I actually got years ago from Zara but it's like the best thing ever I will link similar down below um, and then I've put some black jeans on these are actually mum jeans which are from Zara and then put the um, belt back on just because you know finishes it off and then I am gonna put this blazer on there so how nice does it look just like with a different color palette similar style kind of outfit I guess but way more cozy and just looks really like effortless I think I think it would also look cute just to have it over the shoulders god this video is going to take me way longer than I thought I'm gonna be doing this all day putting on different outfits on but yeah there we go oh dropped it so that's that and then the other thing i thought was if you wanted to kind of dress it up a bit more you could just wear like an all black outfit underneath if i take off this jumper tuck it in there's nothing i hate more than like a bit of belly showing i used to love that but recently i think it's I think it's because I'm getting older. Um, I don't like a bit of belly showing. Right, so yeah, just like that. And then maybe put a pair of heels or like sock boots. People always say, what do you mean by sock boots? This is what I mean. These are like um, stretchy material and they're like really tight on your ankle. So that's what I mean by sock boots. I think that would be really cute with this. So say I was like going to London I would wear that out this outfit with the knit to be warm throughout the day and then usually I would like go for drinks or dinner in the evening so I could just take the knit off and wear this and feel a little bit more like dressed up and not too hot when I'm sat in a restaurant so yeah that is the ways I would style this blazer so I do think it's worth the 70 pounds um just because you can wear it so many ways and it's really classic to wear for like a few years to come So next up from Topshop, I've got these trousers. I'm just trying to put my hands in the pocket and they're stitched up so I can't. Um, obviously you can unstitch them, but I mean, 
because I just bought them, they're not unstitched. Um, so anyway, they are this check. Um, they're kind of like joggers in that they tie it up, but they are wide leg. Um, if I, I might have to put the camera a bit lower down to show you these. Um, bear with. So these are the trousers, you can see them way better now. Um, but I am literally just gonna wear these with a pair of white trainers, probably my McQueen's because they're nice and chunky and I think they'll look cute um, together with these trousers. And then probably a leather jacket. So this jacket is from Topshop um, and it's my favorite leather jacket I've actually got. I got this in a size 12 to fit knits and boots. Yeah, I got this in size 12 to fit knits underneath. So yeah, I can do that. But again, this vest top, so handy with everything. <laughs> but yeah, how nice and fit are these trousers? I'm obsessed. And then what I thought was that these trousers would actually look really nice with a cream knit. So I'm trying to tidy up as I go, otherwise it's gonna be a bit of a nightmare. So yeah, I definitely tuck the front in because otherwise like when every single thing I'm wearing is baggy I feel a bit you know so yeah I think that is like so so cool and then if I was wearing a cream knit I have this thing where I don't like to wear white with cream I would wear these loafers so I got these from Topshop as well a while ago but I feel like they bring out loafers like this every year so these trousers would actually be so cute if you work in an office, they're so comfy. But yeah, with these trousers, I love the um, loafers. So moving on to the items that I picked up from ASOS, the first thing is this blazer. So I have got another black blazer, but it was like quite a fitted um, normal black blazer. Uh, which I think is also double breasted. So I wanted one which looked a bit more like slouchy and vintage looking. So I picked up this blazer, which is actually Stradivarius, but off of ASOS. Um, and I just love the fit of it. It feels very oversized and vintage. And I feel a bit like, um, you know, like you see all the pictures of Princess Diana wearing blazers. I feel this is like that kind of style. And that was exactly what I was after. So it's also such a good price. I think this was like 45 99 which for a blazer of this kind of weight and fabric, I think it's so good because it feels really, really gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I picked this one up in a medium. I did size up as well as it being oversized. So if you don't want it like this big, then go for your normal size. But I basically just love this with an all black outfit. And I wore it out the other night exactly like this, but with a pair of heels and it felt really, really cool and just classy and simple. Um, but you could also just pair it with a pair of boots. So these are probably my most worn boots. These are my Doc Martens. Um, I think they are called, yeah, here we go. They're called um, the 1460. And these are, I think like smooth, I think they're called smooth, yeah. Uh, I won't lie, they took a lot of breaking in, but now that I've broken them in, they're like the most comfy boots that I own. So I would obviously wear this black blazer with so many different things. It's probably not me worth me like trying on a million different outfits. The camera's gone wonky, sorry. Yeah, it's probably not worth me trying on a million different outfits because everybody kind of knows the ways you can wear a black blazer. By the way, I forgot to say these leather leggings are the ones from Topshop that I always wear and they're like my favourite leather leggings ever. And I think I'm gonna actually buy another pair because if these get discontinued, then I'm gonna be pretty devastated because they're so comfy. Um, and I wear them like every single day. <laughs> so the next item that I picked up from ASOS, I've not actually tried it on yet, but it's this belt. Um, which has got little pouches on, so it's like a bum bag kind of style. I see so many people wearing these and they look so cool, so I'm really excited to try. Um, how am I going to do this? Like I said, I've not tried it on, so bear with. How cool is that? I love it. 
and then I'd wear my chunky boots for sure. Um, by the way, Topshop have just bought out a new pair of chunky boots, which are like, which are like a hybrid between my favourite Zara boots, which you've probably seen on here before, and these boots. So I've linked them down below just because I think they're really, really nice. And I don't need them, but if you need a pair of chunky boots, I'd really recommend having a little look at those ones. Um, but yeah, really loving this belt. I think. To be fair, the only outfit that I would wear this with is a black blazer. So for this one, I don't have any more styling ideas really, but how cute. I love that it's croc. Anyway, moving on to the next outfit. Oh my God, how cool is this shirt? I feel very like effortless and actually cool, which I never feel. So. <laughs> The size of it is, I think I picked up a 12 in this. Let me just double check. What do we have here? I can't actually read that. I'm sure you guys can though. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really like the shape. It's got no shoulders at all. Like it's just like, it looks very much like I've got a cool dad that I've stolen his shirt. I do have a cool dad, but he's not like this big to be honest, which is a bit of, bit of a letdown to be fair. Um, but yeah, how cool. And I love how like it's the right length to wear with leather leggings. I have a feeling this is a size 12, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll obviously put it on screen or you'll be able to read it. But the camera screen is so small I couldn't. Um, but yeah, so again, I've got this top shot vest on. I mean, what a joke, I've had it on the whole video. But yeah, just kind of shows how handy it actually is. I've kept my gold necklaces on and my leather leggings and just put this on and I feel super cool. Um, I would probably pair this shirt with my Doc Martens and maybe a beanie hat um, just to kind of finish off the look. I've just realised I forgot to show you one thing from Topshop, which is probably much my favourite item. This bag, um, I mean it looks absolutely appalling with this shirt, I know. But it's really, really handy. So I've been using it to go up to London. It's got a zipper pouch inside which keeps your stuff really safe. But it's like the um, Bottega Veneta. I'm not even going to try and say that. But it's that kind of style. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice bag. It fits on your shoulder really nicely as well, like comfortably, um, even if it is really heavy. But yeah, moving on to the shirt. So another way I thought I could style this shirt was just to have the front tucked into a pair of mum jeans and I think it looks cute and I've finally taken off the vest uh, and I think yeah that just looks really cool. It just looks effortless you know. So yeah I also love the colours so I've got blue eyes and blonde hair. I mean you can literally see that in the screen I don't know why I'm explaining but I think if you're discolouring this shirt is so so gorgeous. Um, I actually think I prefer it untucked though, even with mum jeans, I think it looks really cute. Um, you can wear it also with trainers, but I think I prefer the like biker boot look. Yeah, definitely biker boots I reckon. So that brings me very nicely to the end of this video. Um, I would love to know what you thought of like the new style of filming and what you thought of all of the pieces. Definitely let me know down below what was your favourite um, piece that I showed. My hair is looking somewhat more dishevelled than when I started because I've got dressed a million times. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely click subscribe if you did enjoy. I would appreciate it so much. Um, I'm trying to get to 10k subscribers so if you guys can make that happen that would be amazing. I think I've got like just over a thousand more followers to go until I hit that 10k. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching if you are still watching at this point and hopefully I will see you guys at my next video which is going to be on Sunday and it's going to be a weekly vlog because I'm trying to do those every Sunday and then it will be a fashion video every Tuesday. So yeah, see you next week.